Hey guys, Justin here, and welcome to the Bose QuietComfort QC25 Acoustic Noise Cancelling Headphones Hands-On Review. Let's get into it, shall we? Hello everyone, my name is Justin Marker, and welcome to the Bose QC25 Acoustic Noise Cancelling Headphones and Hands-On Review. The Bose QC25s replaced the beloved Bose QC15s, which came out in 2009. It's been five years since we've had a new release from Bose, and the reason being Bose is not going to come out with an update unless they had something new to bring to the table. So what's new? Much improved sound quality and even better noise cancellation. The Bose QC25's retail price is $299 at the time of this video. Now, some might find this a little expensive, although premium headphones are hitting the market around the same price range. So, just sit back, relax, hope you enjoy this video, and let's get into this hands-on review. Going over the physical features, they went with a matte plastic finish over most of the headphones, and the construction of the headphones is almost all plastic except the fully metal hinges on the end of the ear cups. The headband itself has a linen fabric on the top and around the plush cushion there's a fabric which is normally found in exotic supercars and luxurious cars as well. From the factory you can get these in two colors, black and blue and white and tan. Although if you want more customization pop over to their website and choose custom QC25 headphones option, but beware you're going to spend $100 more, pushing the price up to $399. Now, in my opinion, these look great, but that's for you to decide. Now, they are very sturdy and well-built. No creaking or unwanted flexing, but I do have to disagree with the people saying these headphones do not look as professional as the QC15s. I much prefer the sleek design and simple design. And maybe this is a good thing for Bose, attracting more of a larger audience, not just the business world. Now to wearability, these are the lightest premium headphones I've had my hands on so far. Bose claims it weighs 6.9 ounces and I believe them. Wearing these headphones feels amazing, whereas other headphones can start hurting after a few hours of use, these will still feel comfortable and very lightweight after about 5 hours of continuous use. The ear cups swivel 90 degrees forward and about 5 degrees back, which should fit about everyone. The flex really shows the build quality here, where you can flex the headphones far without any damage being done. Adjusting these headphones are very easy to do, and it holds very well. Having the band accidentally shortened does not seem like that should be a worry anytime soon. The ear cups still keep a slim design, but still feel like they can take a little abuse. The padding on the ear cups seemed a little thin at first, but they become very soft and pliable when you're wearing the headphones. There is a AAA battery compartment and a power switch on the right ear cup and a wire jack on the left. That is what's not new about these headphones. It might seem a little strange since most companies have released a $300 headphone with Bluetooth functionality, but Bose chose not to do that, mostly because they already had enough complicated electronics happening in the headphones. So you get a cable with a standard 3.5mm end to it, and a 3 button slash mic inline setup on the cable, allowing you to stop and play your music, decrease or increase your volume, and answer calls if you need be. Furthermore, you don't get a rechargeable battery. Bose is sticking with a standard AAA battery, but what's different is that if your battery dies on you, you're not going to lose your headset functionality. That's right, in the Bose QC25s, your headphones will still work even with no battery in them, although you're going to lose your noise cancelling ability and the audio is going to become a little less rich sounding. Now with the Bose QC25s, Bose engineered them to now fold in, allowing for a smaller case for traveling, which is awesome.
Now onto the case. The case is built with this black leather material and a stretchy sleeve in the back for storing any cables or wanted items back there. Once inside, it's covered with a blue fabric with the headphones embossed on the inside telling how to fold the headphones to fit inside the case. There's also an extra battery storage spot and an airplane jack for the older airplanes that still use the two prong ports. Now the audio quality is very good. It's not perfect because these headphones aren't purely designed around the sound quality, but they are great improvements from the Q15s. There is zero distortion at all ranges and at any level of audio is very balanced. The vocals are clear and the beats hit very clean when you have the noise cancelling feature turned on of course. The treble is just right on the QC25s and the sound is very rich. These headphones might lack slightly on bass, but they have a good dimension on the sound. They don't sound flat at all and that's great because that was one of the biggest complaints from the QC15s. Going to where these headphones set themselves apart from the competition is the noise cancelling feature. I've never had this level of quality of noise cancelling before I put these headphones on. I believe the first time I put these headphones on during the demo, I couldn't even hear the guy talking to me about the QC25s. When the noise cancelling function is turned on, and there is audio playing at about 70%, you can hear almost nothing of your surroundings. These are probably the closest you can get to being 100% silent with customer grade headphones for entertainment purposes. Now of course if you don't have any audio playing and the noise cancelling function is still switched on, you will still hear your buddy talking to you across the room, but once that music is turned on, you'll be put into your own world. Overall, the Bose QC25s offer one of the best noise cancelling headphones on the market today, and now with audio quality even better than the Bose QC15s, I believe these headphones are great for anyone looking for noise cancelling headphones and willing to pay the $299 price tag. Hope this review helped you guys out, please like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, post a comment and tell me what your thoughts were. And as always, thanks for watching. Peace.